a very good morning to all of you class 6a i hope all of you are doing well today is tuesday 9th of june 2020 and we will continue discuss uh, discussing me and mine worksheets yesterday we have discussed me and mine worksheets based on adjectives and children this is a revision so we are doing a revision of Uh, the grammar lessons which we have learned yesterday we have done adjectives today we will discuss me and mine worksheets based on noun and its kinds so uh, i would request all of you to please take out your worksheets and be ready with your pen and pencils we will discuss worksheet number 57 and 58 so one of the uh, worksheets we will be discussing in the class in this video and another would be a homework so once again i request all of you to please take out your worksheets all right students let us discuss this worksheet number 50 uh, worksheet number 58 okay the first one is you have to choose the correct singular or a plural noun there the options are given in the brackets remember Uh, a noun can be singular or it can be plural okay now some i have very old worksheet with me so uh, please i request all of you take out your uh, me and mine worksheets some dash are grazing in the park the print is not very clear but i will read it out to you so i would request all of you to please look in your workbook um, worksheets worksheet number 58 some dash are grazing in the park options given is cows cow or cowies option the correct answer is cows plural form of cow is cows nasa is launching five spacecraft next week it is not spacecrafts it is not crafties it is spacecraft the baby has 20 teeth the plural form of tooth is teeth we are talking about a particular baby so it will be the baby poaching is the great threat to dash of animals life okay it is not l i f e or it is l i f e s it is l i v e s the plural form of uh, life is lives poaching is you know the act of killing animals for their um, skin or for bone or for their organ body organ then the branches of mango tree are loaded with dash mangoes all the uh, um, spelling of mango is is wrong and it is the branches of mangoes are loaded are loaded that means we are referring to many mangoes so the plural form is m m a n g o e s mangoes then the grandmother uh, grandmother tells me a dash at night stories or story my grandmother sorry the sentence is my gra grandmother tells me a a that means one it will be a story s o s t o r y story at night two children have broken my spectacles okay two children have broken my spectacles the correct option now you need to write the correct option in this space provided choose the correct option to change the gender of the underlined words now there are two genders feminine and masculine gender so we have to choose there are some uh, the nouns are underlined and we have to uh, choose the correct gen gender my uncle has a big farm i went there for few day full day picnic in his farm he had four cocks the feminine gender of cock is hen cocks is hen number b dogs number b is bitches it is written bitch but it will be because here it is since it is in plural so we will write the plural form bitches horse mare the female uh, feminine gender of horse is mare cows cows is a feminine gender and the masculine gender will be bull or bulls then his 
daughter is a good actor the feminine gender of actor is actress then the next word which is underlined here is number f duke which is a masculine gender and the feminine gender is duchess then bachelor number g bachelor is let me see bachelor yes bachelor is spinster bachelor means somebody who does not get married okay and this is a masculine gender so if a uh, a man does not get married we will call him bachelor if a female uh, uh, a lady does not get married we will call her spinster so spinster is the feminine gender of bachelor then num uh, number h is bride you know when people get married the girl is called a bride and the boy is called bridegroom so masculine gender of bride is bridegroom this is uh, question number two. You need to write your answers in the space provided below. Number three, question three. Pick out the mentioned nouns in the given sentence and write them in the given space. We have to pick out proper noun. In this sentence, there are two sentences, A and B. We have to, number one, we have to select proper noun. Birbal was, a fam was famous for his wisdom. So we have to find out proper noun. Proper noun is the name of a specific place or person right place of person so here it will be birbal in second sentence it will be sunita is a member of the jury of the dance competition so birbal and sunita is a proper noun next is collective noun collective noun it is used for collection of things of similar group right or class like rohit is the best student in his class class is a group of students is called a class so class is the collective noun the committee decided to celebrate the birthday of gandhiji here committee is the collective noun committee it means the uh, it is group of um, members that is a committee okay then abstract noun the abstract noun we know noun which we cannot um, touch or see these are that is abstract noun uh, people were happy in the kingdom of Ashoka. Here, kingdom is the abstract noun. The performance of Indian team in the World Cup made us proud. Performance. I have explained ab abstract noun in the previous class. All the qualities or ideas, these are all abstract nouns. Something which you cannot touch or you cannot see or you cannot, uh, you know, it is not concrete. It is an idea. Uh, so this is abstract noun in these two sentence kingdom and performance is the abstract noun F the fourth one is material nouns material nouns means anything of which the uh, uh, the the thing is made of right like wood is a woolen clothes wool is a woolen clothes from sheep wool in the woolen clothes comes from sheep wool is the material the life of chemicals used in battery in your phone is one year here chemicals is the material noun okay so you need to write it down here now complete the masculine and feminine table you need to here one side masculine gender is given another side feminine gender is given host hostess prince princess woman it is man masculine gender of woman is man none feminine gender is none masculine is monk bear masculine gender uh, bear feminine gender is so s o w so okay fisherman feminine gender will be fisher woman governor masculine gender feminine gender will be governess fox is the masculine gender of uh, vixen okay feminine gender is vixen and masculine gender is fox now in question number five choose the countable uncountable nouns in the given sentence and write them in the space below uncountable nouns neha likes to eat rice and chapatis you can count chapatis you cannot count rice so it is uncountable is rice children have completed their homework before sunday homework would be uncountable noun. okay our neighbors play very loud music. Music is uncountable now. The traffic on the road is increasing day by day. Traffic is uncountable. Father gave us advice on road safety. Advice is uncountable now. 
The scenery of Sikkim is very beautiful. Scenery is uncountable noun. All human beings need water to survive. Water is uncountable noun. Rain was forecast for the next day. Rain is the uncountable noun. So this is the end of this uh, worksheet, worksheet number 58. Okay. Now next is your worksheet number 59 this uh, 57 this is your homework 57 is your homework here you have to choose the correct option fit collective noun our universe has millions of dash of stars okay and here the options are also given here see galaxy galaxies clump flock which is the correct one the correct option is galaxy so the option is already given here you need to choose here then and second here also you have to choose the correct options to film a countable or uncountable noun sugar or sugars so you option you have to choose the option here then name the kind of noun that group name the kind of noun that the group belongs to here you have to write down what uh, group of noun is it wool rice this is a material noun okay then uh, wool rice silver water doctor Sorry, wool, rice, silver, water is uncountable noun. Okay, it is uncountable noun. Doctor, monkey, cooler, monuments, common noun. So, in this way, you need to tell what type of noun it is. Here, you have to change them into abstract. The words which is given in the back bracket, change them into abstract noun like patriot, patriotism educate education and fill in the blanks okay so this is your exercise uh, worksheet number 57 and this would be your homework i hope children it is all uh, clear to all of you in case you have any doubt please do let me know